How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another GeoGuessr time trial. The way I do this is I try to guess as many countries correctly without moving within the span of three minutes. When we did this the first time, there was no script or anything for it, but now, thanks to Miracle Whips, we've got this amazing Country Blitz script, which lets you customize the amount of time you have, you can pause it between games, between rounds, all kinds of really cool customizations, so big shout out to Miracle Whips for this. I'm gonna leave a link to this script and all the others he's made in the description. With that said, we're gonna hop into this. Make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna explain all the rounds in this first attempt here at the end so stick around for that and let's get started here we gotta really focus okay uh, I think Malaysia to start I hope good okay next one Cambodia maybe Thailand oh it is Cambo okay good next is the US somewhere nice Kyrgyzstan okay and last round let's try to get this fast um, oh is it Israel with the long antenna yeah, nice. Okay, so pretty good start. We could probably go a little bit faster, but that's all right. Not a bad start. Five for five. Uh, this this is Canada. Oh my god. Zoom in and click. Okay. <laughs> Next is South Africa. Yes. Okay. This one. Oh no. Is it Croatia? Oh my god. It actually it actually is. Cool. Uh, this looks more like Serbia. Good. Okay. And last one is Russia. Okay. You know, that that round that was Croatia, it actually might have been Serbia, because we have 9 out of 10. I don't think we missed anything else, so yeah, I think that might have been in Slovenia, like, just over the border. Whatever, man. Uh, this is Malaysia. Okay, next one, South Africa again. Good. Uh, Indo? Yes, okay, good, good. And this is Botswana. Okay. So, 14 out of 15, doing pretty well on time. Let's keep it up. Here we go. Uh, this is going to be Spain, I think. Uh, was it? Yes. This is the Netherlands. Okay. Uh, France. Okay. Uh, next one, Brazil. Okay, I'm counting that. <laughs> I didn't actually click on it, but it's fine. That counts for me. Okay, 18 out of 20. That's actually 19 out of 20. This is South Africa once again. I think Botswana. Come on, come on. Oh, it's just over. Come on, man. Russia. Japan. That counts. And Canada. Good. Okay. Oof, we got about a minute and change left to go here. Let's try to get a few more. Australia. Uh, Mongolia. Ooh, Sweden. Come on. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, Indonesia again, I think. Yes, good. And uh, Canada. Yeah, it is nice. Okay. Uh, we got 54 seconds. Okay, more time than I thought. Uh, this had better be the US, man. Good. Finland. Not Sweden, please. Good. Okay. Next. Uh, what is the language? What is this language? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is this Italy? No, Croatia. What? That was Gen 2. Okay. This is Brazil. Rare Gen 2 Croatia. What the heck? This is Bhutan. Okay, we're getting all kinds of crazy stuff this seed. Alright, we got 30 seconds left. Doing pretty well, actually. We've played 35 games, or rounds. Uh, this is Israel. Okay. Russia. Uh, I'm going I'm going Italy here. Come on. Yes, I'm counting that as well. This is Uruguay. Okay. Brazil again. Alright, we still got 12 seconds left. We can probably get like three or four more countries here, hopefully. This is New Zealand. Okay, uh, Botswana. Go, 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 go. How much time? I don't even know. Um, Bratislava, Slovakia. <laughs> Come on. And time is up. Wow, 38 out of 43. I need to go back and check and see those ones I misclicked. Alright, so looking back at the games here, we were actually in Slovenia, not Croatia, for that round. So that's unfortunate. We did miss that one, so that's one miss. I misclicked in Brazil. I just clicked in the ocean when I was trying to click farther west. So that counts as another. So that takes us to 39, technically, if we count this. 
So this Botswana round that I thought was actually South Africa, uh, it turns out it is over the border in Botswana, so that should count for Botswana. I think the script counted it as South Africa, but I'm not too sure. Then we also had this Italy round where I clicked just in the Adriatic Sea, so I'm counting that as well. That takes us to 40, so three actual misses. Let's see what those were. So the first one was Slovenia, for sure. That's one. I missed Croatia here, guessing Italy, so that's two. And this is the last game. I don't see another miss, so I'm pretty sure that the script counted that Botswana as South Africa, so that was another right country, so technically we got 41. That is by far the best I've done in this format. Not a streak, because we did miss two countries for real, but that's for sure my best performance. Really proud of that. So now I'm going to explain all the rounds that were in this attempt and how I was able to solve them so quickly. So for the first round in Malaysia, we have a white car and then also this black sticker on the pole. That's something you get on the peninsula side. Round two out here in Cambodia. Uh, this is a car you get in Cambodia a lot. And then also this architecture as well with a lot of homes on stilts, kind of like this one over here. Third round is the US. Uh, here this is more just like general landscape and the style of road you've got, these road markings, and this guardrail, plus this landscape for the West US. Fourth round here in Kyrgyzstan, simple car meta, this is the Kyrgyzstan car. Round five, we have a long antenna with black car, plus this yellow sign, which you get in Israel, and also there's Hebrew here. I didn't see that in time, but the yellow signage plus black car with long antenna. Round six out in Canada, this arrow sign with the sort of checkerboard design on the outside is Canada specific, so if you see that, you're going to be in Canada. Next round in South Africa here, we have these yellow outside lines, uh, plus this general landscape. And here's this Slovenia round that I guessed Croatia for. This one is just architecture for me, super Slovenian Croatian architecture here, but unfortunately I was on the wrong side of the coin toss. Next one up is Serbia. Here the architecture is fairly similar, but it's a little bit different, and also we don't have any visible antenna on the car. Next one here is Russia with the long antenna black car, which is really common in Russia, and also just the general landscape, architecture, all that stuff. Here we're in South Korea, a really distinct country just from the architecture. Uh, also, I think I used this pole here. That's the South Korean pole. Next, Malaysia round here. Malaysia loves to have these sort of double white lines, and then again we have the black sticker on the pole. South Africa again, this is Gen 2 coverage, which is the only African country to have Gen 2, if you don't include like the Canary Islands or anything like that, and then combined with the landscape and the architecture. Next one was Indonesia, now these single white lines really common in Indonesia, plus the white car, and then again this general foliage and landscape. Next one up is Botswana, pretty similar looking to South Africa, except for the fact that we have these black and yellow signposts, that is Botswana specific. Next round was Spain, we have these poles, which was the big thing for me here, uh, tons of these sort of cutout things in them, that's a very Spanish pole. Here in the Netherlands, pretty easy one, very distinct country with the yellow front and back license plates, and then this sort of brick architecture, cobblestone street. Out here in France for the next round, this is the French road sign and French bollard, two very distinct things for the country. Also, we have this pole, kind of similar to the Spain one, but a little bit different in the design. This one is Brazil, we have a pretty common car that you get in Brazil, plus this road with the sort of dark asphalt, yellow lines and everything, and then also the red soil plus landscape. Here in Argentina, I solved this with the black car, plus this Mediterranean landscape that you get in the west by the mountains. South Africa once again here, this is again Gen 2 coverage, and a South African road sign here. Hopping back to Botswana for this round, this one was mostly just landscape vibes for me. Uh, you got the road signs as well, which can look very similar to South Africa. And then we also have this beautiful Botswana flag trash can, I love that. Okay, the next round is Russia. This one is mostly landscape, but also we got a ton of bollards at this intersection. That's a very Russian thing to do, uh, plus the landscape as well, very South Russia. Next round is Japan. This is low cam coverage, you can tell, because the blur of the car is really wide and then we also have a Japanese electricity pole here. Back in Canada, we got a single yellow line, which is a very Canadian thing, combined with the wooden poles and the North American foliage. This one's Australia, we got the all-white road lines, the bollards, as well as the eucalyptus trees everywhere. Next round here is Mongolia, and this one is another distinct Google car. You get this camping equipment, you're gonna be in Mongolia. Here we're in Sweden, we got a long antenna with a white car that you get in most of the Gen 3 coverage in Sweden, uh, plus the northern trees, a lot of water everywhere as well. This round is Indonesia, again, with the single white lines, and here we also had a very clutch Indonesia flag. Next Canada round here I solved mostly just from vibes, just looking at the trees. These are more northern North American trees, uh, plus the license plates, the types of cars we had and everything. And here we're in Nevada, so this one is again mostly just landscape here with the dry foliage, and then we also had this little reflector which you get in Nevada. That's actually specific to the state of Nevada too. Next round is Finland here, which was mostly just the architecture and the trees. You got a lot of birch trees in Finland. So here's the Croatia round that I guessed Italy for, and it's actually not Gen 2. I was really sure that it was when I was playing. 
I think that's part of why I guess it'll be here, but yeah, this is just normal Gen 3. We don't have the Italian license plates with blue strips, so that's a good clue against it. Otherwise, though, a kind of tricky round, honestly. Next round is Brazil once again. We have the same sort of Brazilian style of road, plus this general landscape, too. Next round is Bhutan. Here we have a silver car that you get in Bhutan that's pretty distinct for the country, as well as this just really unique foliage and everything. Looks completely different to any other country on GeoGuessr. Here we're out in Israel, Palestine once again, which count as one entity for GeoGuessr streak purposes. Uh, here we got the long antenna and this dry, dry landscape that you get out east. This one is new Gen 4 coverage in Russia. We got lots of bollards here at the intersection, a very Russian thing to do, plus the northern trees. This is the Italy round where I guessed in the Adriatic Sea. Uh, this time we got a lot of sort of rocky outcroppings, these Mediterranean trees and plants and everything. Very Italian landscape. Next round is Uruguay. We got a distinct road marking for Uruguay, this white and yellow combo, plus the white signposts in the distance, as well as this sort of smudged up foggy looking camera. You get that a lot in Uruguay, especially near the coasts. Here we are in Brazil once again. You can probably notice that Brazilian road, really distinct. Here we also got the classic red soil and the general landscape too. Okay, this one is New Zealand, and this is a pretty typical northern New Zealand landscape. You've got these sort of uh, tropical looking ferns and everything as well, and you also got the bollards in the distance. This round is Botswana, we got the white car, and then the southern African style of road lines, and then also these trees you get, sort of like lacking leaves and everything, that's common in a lot of areas of Botswana, so really good trick there. And the final round we had in the video was this one, which says Bratislava, of course, which is the capital of Slovakia. Okay, that was a lot to get through, but I hope it was educational. Let me know what you guys thought of this format down below. I'm definitely going to be playing Blitz mode in the future, so make sure to let me know what I can improve for the future. If you enjoyed the video, though, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I post GeoGuessr and Geography content every two days, so I'd really appreciate it if you joined our community. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next time.